Yes, sir. 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 Are you able to see my screen? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, I have a doubt. How to differentiate between Pareto chart and bar chart? How to know yeah, when so, you create so, a bar chart or Pareto yeah, chart? Yeah. First, I this in this session we will discuss about I mean like all the theoretical concepts and I will try to clear all the doubts in these theoretical concepts and we will do some example problems. Okay. 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 So can you? Uh, teach one one concept and then do the activity questions of that concept so that it would be clear. Uh, uh, I can do one one activity question like one or two activity question. Actually, major motto is to clear all the concepts in this two hours. Like that that's that's why I mean like, I, hello. So that's why if you have any doubt, you can. I mean like there are uh, how many sessions are there for stats two stats one. I don't know. It's not fixed. No, no. TS, TS should take at least one, one or two sessions. So there is a session tomorrow. I didn't get you. So this is session. There two. is a so session first, uh, tomorrow. How the medium can be calculated, sir? Daily we have the table uh, column. Statistics uh, session uh, of TS. We'll start with summarizer in week two. Yeah. Content now. No. Are you able to see what I'm writing? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now first, we'll go to the week two contents and I will try to elaborate them. I mean, I, I will try to brief them. And then next, we'll discuss, I mean, each each and every everything in that contents. Okay. First one, like. I want to discuss the last two tutorial videos, the VLOOK uh, one and the SUMF one. Actually, Okay, I mean, generally, I mean, like, that, that how, I mean, like, they have taught in the tutorial itself. Like, yes, like, sir, but I didn't understood the VLOOKUP one. Okay, we will ask TS to look into that, okay? Actually, this session is to clear all your theoretical loads, okay? Okay. So, yes, is sir. that important? Will we get questions to make a spreadsheet and qualifiers? No, no, no. That spreadsheet is to know the practicalness of the, I mean, like, how to... I mean, like, how to deal with the data. That spreadsheet is based upon that. Okay. Did you get that? The contingency, look, if, if we give you data and you have to find the contingency table, then it is very difficult. That's why they use spreadsheet and they will say, okay, ascending order and descending order. What is similar to dealing with data? Are you getting the point? Hello. Yes, yes sir. Generally, we won't give the, those types of questions. We only test the, I mean, like how good the people, I mean, how good the students with the basic concepts and okay, how, I mean, how well they use the, I mean, like use the theoretical knowledge to solve the practical questions. Okay, okay sir. Okay. Coming to the contents. Sir, so if someone First, is using this, uh, starting from phone then it's not possible to use google spreadsheet from phone how will they do sir no generally like though that's why those are like we are not giving questions on that to practice i mean like you can it is difficult in like google sheets can be downloaded but it is difficult to type in the mobile phones but just yeah. i mean like just know that okay there are some functions which make the task very easy did you get that we look up is used to what we look we look up does. Hello. Okay. 
learn that and learn if at all there is a sorting one ascending or descending order you can sort you can arrange by alpha alphabetical order learn what does the function does that is the primary important okay sir so, okay. okay okay sir coming to the week two contents first one is like tabulation of data here we will deal about frequency and relative frequency and then we will describing the i will broadly say describing the data how will you describe the data like there are two ways again one one way is the charts and other way is measure of oh, descriptive start i mean like descriptive statistics and in charts we have two possibilities what are the pie chart and the bar chart pie chart bar chart and actually in bar chart itself and pareto chart there are some other i mean like possibilities but the these are the mother i mean like where i mean like do i mean the, there are, uh, i will discuss about that in later part but there are some other charts which are similar to this just the name is different and coming to the descriptive statistics uh here we will measure uh measure of central tendency central tendencies mostly mode mode is only defined for a uh, make note mode is only defined for sorry sorry mode can be defined for two i mean the like this and median median is only defined for ordinal okay i didn't mention the main important thing what does can anyone tell what does the week to week to discuss about hello So only about categorical, categorical data. Description of yeah. categorical variable. The categorical data. Categorical data is very important. Sir, category. is this the doubt thing, sir? Shall no. This we will. I mean, skim through the week two contents, and this is completely theoretical. Uh, theoretical. I mean, like we will clear all the theoretical concepts, and we will do some examples. Okay. Look. Okay. And then, and then coming to the next part is like, what are the best practices? Like, best practices. Look, I mean to represent. I mean like that. I mean categorical data. Or charts. Here we will. I mean, like we will learn learn about labeling, and then dealing with multiple categories, and then may important thing is like area rule, area principle. and finally we will learn how to find misleading graphs or how to recognize the misleading graphs clear these are the week two contents and first thing we are dealing with about data 
table sir can you show the uh, uh, up up little bit up yes yes excuse me sir yeah Yes, sir, like you have mentioned that median is defined only for ordinal, sir. Is mode also defined for a particular scale of measurement here, sir? No, 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 no. Mode can be measured, I mean, measured for, in, I mean, like ordinal or normal. Okay, sir. Thank you. Okay, have you noted this? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, coming to the table of data, you have in the week one, I and Mayur sir have discussed about table data and it is like these are combination of rows and columns. Sir, can structured data. That, sir, can we say that the median is defined for uh, every type of data other than uh, nominal? You, you, you. I will come into that. Don't go beyond that. If you, I, if I am discussing about median, you can ask the questions on the median. Okay. Okay. Just wait. Just wait for your time, okay? And coming to the look here, what what we are doing is like for suppose you have uh, some data such as uh, let us take grade grade uh, grades data. These are the grades obtained by students A A B C D D E F. And you want to, you're making a table. You're making a table. Sir, Students. after will you take the activity uh, question down? Yeah. Hello. Just if at all there is time, I will take that, okay? Don't worry. I mean, like most probably after listening this session, you can make, I mean, do on your own most probably. If not, I will take till, I mean, till the time ends like, and then all the questions can be asked in the next session or two years. Okay. I think yeah, you're using this course. Yes, sir. Student and then and grade. And look, student one. Do qualify students have access to this course? Hmm? Do qualify students have access to this course? No, I don't know. Actually, I don't know. I clearly. Don't know. I will, uh, no, sir. So, sir, they we are not having access to this course. Okay. So, they qualify students have we'll got access, access to this course after we qualify the uh, qualifier. Okay, I, we I are now know, in sir. Google forum. Actually, I don't know the I mean, like, rules. But so, we I are will, now in Google. I will ask this, sir, okay. No, sir, we are now in Google Groups. Google Groups, okay, okay. And then we are putting grade A, A, B, C. Look, here you observe that there are like one, two, two A's. Two A's and one B. One C, two D, one E, and one F. The number of times, look, I'm defining frequency. Listen this very carefully. Number of times the a category appear in the data. Or you can simply say, in simple words, count of the Count of the category, particular category. Particular category. Now, if someone asks, what is the frequency of A in the following data? A, A, B, C, D, A, F, E. In particular data. 
हेलो सर थ्री जस्ट काउंट द नंबर ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ बी इट्स वन लिटिल बेटा ओके थैंक यू थैंक यू सर don't worry i will share this pdf don't worry i am using another i mean like i didn't share the max one pdf till now but i am using another app so that it is easy you know okay don't worry i will share the pdf sir where will you share the pdf i mean like i will share to the sir and i mean like sir will share to you okay they will look into that okay Oh, but PDF will be shared. Don't worry. Max one is not shared till now, but it will be shared. Actually, there is some. I mean, like this. Uh, the last time I used other app is making some chaos. I need to write all these again. That's it. Come over the frequency distribution. What is look the word distribution? Just I mean, like it is like. Sir, is this the summary of week two? Yeah, so, summary. Complete yeah. theoretical summary. I will cover all the theoretical summary with short no, examples, so that you can do all the activity questions and the assignment questions on your own. Week two, na no, sir. Sir, week two, yeah. Sir, is this actually just summarizing lecture or the doubt clearing session? A summarizing. Yes, summarizing. Yes, Hello. So now you are in doing the assignment. Uh, yes, sir. Doubt. Yes. I didn't get you. No, no sir uh, sir uh, first give me give, give us the summary sir that yeah, will be uh, more help yes sir now i'm coming to the frequency distribution what does this the, hello what does the frequency this lecture is dedicated to the summarizing of the week 2 contents okay okay thank you sir and what does the frequency distribution say it is simply listing Of distinct values or categories and their frequency. Look, this is the frequency table. Did you get the point? Yes, sir. This is grave, but and it does not become tally marks. Ah, leave leave about okay, okay, tally marks. Okay, ah, uh, I mean like Madam discussed about tally marks. Okay, I will tell you what what does the tally marks is. Look, actually, what happens if you have this data? Something like A, A, B, D, D, C, E, A, C, A, D, E, F. Yes. What happens is that. to construct to construct i mean like frequency distribution sir you, you will maintain the two ways, sequence like. of the sequences as per the lecture slides na no, sir right sir huh? yeah most yeah, yeah i will follow the but i will give you a bigger picture sometimes what happens is that 2.4 i will come back 2.3 and 2.4 sometimes okay but it is like a bigger picture like are you getting the point okay. i will cover yes, all the things but not on the same order sir, do mention yes, sir. do mention the lecture lecture slides uh, about about which lecture you are you know uh, giving the uh, summary yeah i can't i can't do that but i mean like you can i will figure it out easily but i will try to do okay as far as okay, my sir. my knowledge i will try to do okay actually i okay. i prepared some notes and i am going through that and i followed lecture i added some lecture notes in that that's why there will be some i mean like the whole concept is the same as the 
what madam have taught in the lectures but i am somewhat elaborating it okay okay sir okay sir yes okay sir so we Look. get the notes for this yeah yeah you will get don't worry okay okay sir to constant frequency distribution Look, what Madam has said is that, look, this data is like not easy. If there is a, I mean, large data to count, it is not easy. So you have to put A, B. You have to define the categories first. Categories. A, B, C, D, E, E, yes. And then you have to put tally marks. Why tally marks? It's for counting. The importance of tally marks is tally marks. Is for counting. Every time it is not. I mean, like the, I don't think that frequency distribution table must have tally marks. No, frequency distribution should have category or the value and the frequency. These tally marks are for counting, counting the number of categories. Look, I can count like this: two A, three A, four A. But what is the other way? One, two. Putting tally marks: three, four. Like, or else, one. Look, what? A and second tally mark, and then B. One tally mark for B, and then D. One tally mark for D, and then also D, and then C. One tally mark for C. And then one tally mark for E, and one tally mark for A, and one tally mark for C, and one tally mark for A, and one tally mark for D, and one tally mark for E, and final tally mark for F. Are you getting the point? So that you can easily find the frequency. Hello. Yes, sir. 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 As well, the mistake will not be there if you use this tally marks. Yeah, yeah, that's why, that's why. To me, it is like an organized structure. One can say it is organized, organized structure to calculate frequency. If we Coming get the, a six, then frequency. we have to cut middle of the uh, five five lines. Five so, five like this five five group group like this one. One, two, three, four, and then five is like this. Okay. Okay. And then coming to the relative frequency. The word relative itself is like comparison. When you use the word relative, it means you are comparing it to something like relative word. Whenever you see a relative word, it is like You are comparing. You know there is a one joke saying that relatives even compare with others, and relate to word itself means comparing. And coming to this, you are comparing the frequency of a one category, like frequency of a category. Divided by total frequency. Total number of observations. Relative frequency. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look, did you get the point? No. First, we will take the same example as top. Like, uh, look, I am putting in red mark. So, can you take notes? Okay. We'll take the same example, like A four, A B, three frequency. So this is another example, na? No? Same. I mean, same top, like A, A, B, C, D. I'm taking only four things. Like for suppose the frequency is four, B is three, C is six, and D is five. What is the total number of frequency? 
And coming to, if you want to find the relative frequency. Look, what I said, frequency of a category divided by total frequency. What is the frequency of the category A? 4. 4 by 9. 4 by 18. 4 by 18. 0.2. 2 by 9. And 3 by 18. 6 by 18. 5 by 18. That equal to something. 2 by 9. Then 1 by 6. 1 by 3. 5 by 18. Something like 0. Point. 0. Point. 2. How much? 0. Point 0. 0. 2. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. Something. You will find all these values. Okay. Did you get the relative frequency? Yes, yes, sir. Clear? Yes. Now oh, coming to the. In fact, some uh, I got some questions, sir. Yeah. So if uh, in some question there is not given the frequency and also not the relative frequency of uh, let's say A, then how will we find that? Okay. Pretty good question. Like that x coordinate, sir. And you will leave about that, nothing like that. Okay, some okay. Uh, for suppose, what is the sum of relative frequency? Can anyone tell? One. Total sum of one. 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 Activity based, I think. Activity based. So I will tell you. Look. Sir, is the sum always one or it lies between zero and one? Or I mean, it should be one, always one, but sometimes in round of 0 0.999, but it must be one. Okay. Did you get that? Do you have the round of? It must be one. Why it must be one? I will tell you. Look. 4 by 18. Look, because I am adding all this. Four, total 4 by 18. Sum of relative frequency. Sum of relative frequency. Is equal to 4 by 18 plus 3 by 18 plus 6 by 18 plus 5 by 18. 4 is 18. 4 plus 3 plus 6 plus 5. 18 by 18. That equal to 1. Sir. Did you get the point? For suppose someone. Hello? Sir, yeah. sir, I have a doubt. Yeah, yeah. Sir, if in case it is less than one or greater than one, then uh, does it mean that the given data is, is sorted? Not like sorted. Like I will tell you. I will tell you. It's it sorted. Will come, it, it, it will come in the, like, I mean, like, in misleading graphs. I mean, misleading data. Okay. okay. This area. Don't worry. I, I will come to that. Okay. Just listen. If you have doubt in re relative frequency, just ask me now. Look. It must be one. Are you sure about? I mean, you are sure about this thing. Look, if someone, yes. for suppose, someone yes, didn't give you this, someone didn't give you that this. the sum of relative frequency is always one. Yeah, it, it must be one. If the, I mean, like, it must be one. If someone didn't give you this, this value, but they gave all the data. Then we can subtract it. Hmm? Look, you can do it in two ways. Like, you can add all the relative frequency. And one minus all the relative frequency, yeah. you will get the this following relative frequency. What is the relative frequency definition? Relative frequency is equal to frequency of category uh, of particular category divided by total the ratio frequency. of the number of observation. The total number of frequency. So you can find frequency very easily. Frequency is equal to total frequency. Into relative frequency. I'm using RF just for easy, easy convention. Okay. Did you get, did you clear? Should I need to take one example and tell you? No, sir. It's clear, sir. It's clear, clear. 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 If the frequency yes, and two relative frequencies are not given. I didn't get you. Okay. Now two sequences are not given. It is like you have to. You. I mean, like they won't ask you. Okay. I will tell. I will tell this. Okay. Uh, for suppose this is A and this is B. 
they said it is 18 hello you yes, can write yes. equation look at this you can write equation 4 plus a plus b plus 5 equal to 18 a plus b equal to 18 minus 4 minus 5 then a plus b equal to how much 9 9 9 Look, look. Hey, I, I'm telling you, I, I'm telling you, color convention. Look, whatever I put in the green dot, I mean green. That means the green is responsible for that. Are you getting a point? A, B. Hello. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Got it. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, If A B related frequency is also not given, is in the A uh, B A comma B related frequency is also not given. Sir, please don't use the green color. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Green color is not visible. Not... Okay, sorry, sorry. Just I'm using black. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, yes, sir. Black is fine. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Not given. That means you can find one minus. For suppose same example. Same example. You can find one minus. Ah, uh, two by nine. Minus five by eighteen. Okay, sir. Is equal to sum of relative frequencies of, or relative frequency of A plus relative frequency of B. Eighteen. Eighteen minus four minus five. R of S J plus R of of B. What does that mean? Nine by eight. It's equal to R of of A. R of relative frequency of B. One by two equal to R of of A plus R of of B. Are you getting the point? The, now look look yes, carefully. Sir. Listen this very carefully. Look, you got A plus B equal to nine. Here, you don't need to do all this crap, all this thing. Why? You know the frequency. A plus B combined frequency to find relative frequency of A plus B. A and B. You can just divide A plus B divided by total frequency. A plus B frequency. Agree? Everyone agree with this? Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. What is the frequency of A plus B? Nine. Nine. Divided by eighteen. Nine. One by two. Sorry, one by eight. Not one by two. Are you getting the point? You are getting the same answer, okay. irrespective of what you do. But the question will be asked based upon the data. You, like here, it is not possible to find individual A. So what they will ask in the question in the question is that find the frequency combined frequency of uh, students who got A and B grades. So, but sometimes they ask for median and mode also. A uh, median and mode. Ah, uh, I will get into that. Okay, we will we'll get into that. Don't worry. Median mode can be fine. I mean, fine. Don't worry. Okay, clear till now. Are you getting the okay, notion sir. of the relative frequency? Yes. Okay, yes. Sir. And then coming to the next part, charts. Look, someone sir, you can't represent. Look, ah, uh, you sir, can't. Sir, sir, sir. Yeah, yeah. Sir. Uh, what is the use of this relative frequency, and sir, what uh, does it mean if two data sets have same relative frequency? Yeah, we will get into that. Okay, we will get into that. Now, the that is the part we are discussing about. Now, coming to the someone asks you, I mean, like one thing, just summarize data for me. Okay, you are you are working in a some marketing agency. Or for for example, we will take the Instagram. Excuse Instagram. me, sir. Hello. 
sir can i get this pdf yeah you can get you can sir get from it. where oh they will i mean like they will say i mean like i don't know how but you will get the pdf okay i will i will talk to the persons concerned persons okay look for your your influencer marketing for suppose so influencer marketing marketer do you know what is influencer marketing no sir yes sir no whenever you go to amazon or any flipkart if you see a i mean like see a good like any for suppose uh, dress or jean pant at the part of reviews there is there is a video stylish video saying that okay meet your stylist yes sir okay yes, that sir. is known as yes, influencer sir. marketing look what does that mean is that they will pay these brands will pay or the clothing brands will pay them and they will use those brands i mean like they will use their style and their followers That's like YouTubers, to buy these sir. products ah like youtubers anything but th- this is known as influencer marketing one person is influencing you to buy like look if you you are that for suppose let a x y z is clothing brand clothing brand i mean like you gave contract for six influencers six influencers and you want to know like how well they perform how well the influencer perform perform to uplift your sales and you graded them a b c d you graded them based upon the the grading is some other part but you graded them like a b c d are you getting the point hello yes yes sir based upon the yes, revenue sir. based upon the revenue yes. if a a grade means they have done more than uh, two crores revenue b done greater than 1 crore based upon based upon the revenue they generated they gave four grades now this xyz company want to analyze this like sorry there are 16 influencers let's let us think there are 16 influencers a b c d you give look no someone asked you like manager don't have the all the time to look a a b b how will the whole whole perform like how will this person perform so that the simplest you have to represent this whole thing like whole 16 influencers or six the data set in simplest form hello yes you can understand sir simplest form sir i can understand form. i mean like you have to i mean like these a a b actually are naming the all these things in the simplest form for that you will use charts charts what are the options for this is categorical data a b c d this is categorical data so you have only two options like two charts are available what is the what are those charts pie charts and bar charts hmm? yeah pie charts and bar charts everyone understood yes sir yes sir bar charts please explain simple no i want to tell look look you now based upon your general knowledge like general knowledge okay which chart is better like you know pie chart should look pie chart looks like this and bar chart looks like this sir bar chart is better or like this both have different purpose depends on our bar chart no no i gave you case this clothing sir, brand bar chart is better bar chart bar chart sir bar chart okay you are saying bar chart is better can anyone say why i think sir a pie chart is it will we are comparing uh, for uh, independent uh, the answer is correct bar chart is correct so we are not taking the proportion as proportion in total we are just comparing in individual we are seeing how so it will uh, reflect the sales frequency so we are uh, for individual frequency look data. what happens okay, we are no. differentiating according to the amount so if we use bar chart we can categorize them that which particular influencer is making good sales right. no you can't look look uh 
no that means you are increasing the length of bar chart you says i mean like no no uh, that is not the reason like look why why i, I will give you small i mean like small i mean like uh, small explanation no detailed explanation will be given in the coming sessions okay i mean like sir next, each bar next is for each, sir each bar is for each influencers among 16 influencers na no no each bar is for a b c d that's the good question that's the okay. question i'm waiting for look a b c d look what happens if you take the pie chart pie chart is like a, you can compare you can use pie chart also but if there are like 60 members and if you take in percentage like a perform this much the share of a it doesn't i mean like i, I will tell you the rules like i mean like i will tell when you should use pie chart and when you should use bar chart but look for comparison of the same category look they, these a b c d are doing the same work hello yes sir yes agree those guys yes. are doing the same work yes so like right. i mean like compare the, for so comparison must be done in i mean like bar it is better to compare in bar charts i will tell you the rules in the in in 10 minutes after 10 minutes we will discuss about rules okay for sir how case, can how can we find the performance of of you know uh, among uh, one influencer among the 60 look look the performance of one influencer can be look look here look you can't find the best influencer by using this graph but you gave you already given grades a b c d the, best the, the person best category of influencers can be found out the the person who have in the uh, who are in the a grade is, is are automatically the best perform performers but here we are looking look you are a salesman but you need to show the report to the i mean like manager manager will see this report this bar chart are you getting the point look data that that means sir that means sir if if 20 influencers get a so the manager will uh, will get to know that 20 among the 60 influencers 20 20 influencers has uh, has done uh, are in grade a look look are in grade a look the manager will see that out of 60 20 are in a b c and remaining all the 40 are in b that means it is a waste of money to spend on these fellows you can only spend on first three fellows how you get right. point a b c the, the decision will be made by that that's why the whole data science most probably the data science will i mean the like, target on the finance itself because there is lot of optimization required are you getting the point sir excel pdc others are what sir Oh, no, no, no. There are sixty members. This, case, this case is 60. based on to find the best influencers uh, between the uh, among the sixty, na? Right? Oh, no, 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 not that. To find whether the influencer marketing is working or not. Look, look. This how well the performance they gave grades. Grades are given. Hello. It's the same same thing, na, sir. If if fifteen uh, influencers uh, got a D grade, so mm-hmm. so among the sixty, they are they are uh, they are not working well. So yeah, we can that's what. Them. Yeah, that's what. That is the thing. But I mean, like in the whole case, like to show, I mean, to represent in a simplest way, this we can show it to the manager or a high level person. So it is a report, like when whenever you are preparing a report, the report must be very brief and it must be like a summary. Are you getting the point? Hello. Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. That is like a report. Like, I will tell you some other examples. Don't worry. But I will. I will brief you. Please remember me. I will. I mean, I already remember. But please remember me that how to use. I mean, like when to use bar pie charts and bar charts. If I forgot, okay. In coming ten minutes, okay. Sure. Hello. Yes. Yes. Sir. Yes. Okay. yes. Coming to the pie chart. First, I will explain pie chart. Look for us. Ah, uh, we'll take same table. No, I I will use that. Look for suppose. Which example should I take? Hello, sir. Now, hello, hello. Yeah. Sir, for frequency distribution, we will use the bar chart, and for relative, we will use the pie chart, right? No, no, no. 
not like necessary we have not necessary thing not okay not, not, not necessary i i will come to that okay just for suppose we will take the same grades example a b c d and frequency sir we are frequency use in use hello your yes, voice sir, is not confused in we are confused in we are do pie chart or a bar chart uh, i will i will discuss that don't worry i will discuss by the end of the lecture i will discuss don't worry okay cool frequency is 4 and these are 2 and you can find relative frequency how much is your relative frequency hello yes 0.4 0.2 0.2 0.2 one the sum is no no what, what is happening here is that look for pi chart it is like a Sir, sir, if, sir. If the frequency of B is, uh, you know, uh, uh, not there, it's missing. So, so how can we find the relative relative frequency? I already discussed in this. I mean, like yes. in this part. Okay. Okay, okay, sir. Don't worry. At last, if there is some time, we will do some example. Okay, sir. Look now. Now listen this very carefully. You want to represent this data in a pie chart. What does the pie chart mean? Three sixty degrees. Three sixty degrees. Okay. Wow. Well, I mean, like, how can you? I mean, like, how can you construct pie chart? So we have to convert this figure into degree four into three sixty into two pi. We have to multiply the relative frequency with relative this frequency into three sixty. Here to frequency into three sixty. Okay. Okay, good. I mean, like, okay. I mean, like, what does I mean, like, okay? There is, is there is. Have you heard the word called sector? Is this sector, sector, sector? Sector. Yes, sir. Sector. Okay. Sector. I mean, like, what is what is the hey, is I mean, like. Sector, sir. So stop. I'm not drawing. I'm drawing some different word. Okay, don't worry. Just stop. I'm drawing. hello yes sir yes sir yes No, you know the pie chart will be round. Like I mean, like it is like a pie. Like yes, yes, sir. You you need to find the widgets or sector how much it is occupying. Occupying. Look, ye how much A is occupying, how much B is occupying, how much C is occupying, how much D is occupying. Hello. You don't know about this. So what is happening here is that very simple. Like you have to convert. Look, there will be total three sixty degrees. Total three sixty degrees. So the easiest thing to do is like convert convert this. I mean, like frequency or relative frequency into angle. Total must be three sixty and three sixty degrees. Agree? Yes. Hello. Yes. Yes. So what what is the easiest way to convert? Multiply the frequency. Four, but look, I mean frequency divided by total frequency into four degrees. Three sixty, three sixty. Or simply you can do relative frequency. R of means relative frequency into three sixty. Agree? Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. That means two by ten into three sixty. Two by ten into three sixty. Two by ten into three sixty. Agree? Agree. Yes. Yes, sir. So what we will get? We will get angles based upon that angles. You will you will draw angle. I mean, like you will draw this portion, like which is known as wedge. For suppose A grade, like thirty six into four. One forty four. One forty four degrees. Look. One forty-four degrees. 
on 44 degrees means something like obtuse angle So one forty-five degree. So it's one forty-four. One forty-four. All right. Look, yeah. And then based upon the other thing, you you will you will draw this. Okay. Are you getting the point? Clear. Yes, sir. Is yes, pie chart is clear. Yes, clear, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Clear. No, I mean like I want to discuss something like which is very important. What is the total angles in the? I mean, like total angle in the pie chart? Three sixty degrees. Three sixty. Three sixty. How to represent pie chart? I mean, how to? What is the better representation of pie chart? Look, there are two ways. Listen this very carefully. I think you have seen in some reports. A B C. Sir, put the hand. They will say put the hand in patterns. Huh? Sir, write write yes. patterns in the corner so we can uh, we we will uh, understand later. I didn't get you. He is talking about levels. Levels, yeah. Uh, I mean, like what legends are the legends? Are legends. Yeah, legend, legend. I'm talking about legend. I'm not. I'm mean, like look and grade and then look. You can see the percentage. What is the percentage? What is the percentage? It looks really good, like it is known as legend or label or labeling. We have to label this like this. Yeah, yeah, equal to grade like topmost grade. Are you getting the point? Labeling or yes, we have to put yes. some legend. Okay, that is the good way to represent this. If and it also helps to identify the uh like. Default. I mean, like fault, faulty data. It helps in identifying the faulty data. Look, if someone gave you a pie chart, it says that A grade is forty-five percent area of A grade, and other is thirty-five percent, and other is thirty percent. Faulty data was that. B and. Yeah, yeah, fault data. Yeah. Look, what? Yeah, all these three. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah, all these three. How much? How much area you are getting? Hundred. Hundred and ten percent. Should that be hundred. This data not is wrong. Are you getting the point? This data yes, is wrong. Clearly yes. wrong. So, because it is not following area rule, not following. Sir, it should be less than hundred percent, right? If equal to hundred, total should be hundred. Yes. Total must be equal to hundred percent. Combining all the look, combining all the categories. All the categories, eight percent. Okay. Please mute yourself. Someone, someone there. Is... Hello. Someone is creating. Some... His name is. Yeah. Oh, clear, no? Yes. 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 Clear. Uh, so one Look. question. You said it helps in identifying the faulty data. What helps in identifying the legend? No. No. Oh, yeah, yeah, legend or I mean like not legend. Like, if someone gave you this, like a equal to the in pie chart, if a a represent forty five percent of the total data and b represent thirty five and c represent thirty percent data, and then if you add this, it comes like one ten percent. Like it it doesn't make sense. Like so, it is not this data has some error. Hello. So this percentage can be also used with uh, degrees, right? Uh, the example you gave, one forty-four degrees. Ah, degrees. Yeah, yeah, degrees, degrees, degrees. Don't worry, degrees. That will be dealt in the last session. Okay. Like, okay, okay. You, it must be like a hundred percent area right. or degrees. Look, what? Look, I want to clear this. 
look whatever you deal with in pie chart will indirectly convert it into degrees what does that mean look you are telling area percentages you are representing area percentages it is nothing but the area percentage and the area percentage also part on the water hello yes sir yes sir i'm there i'm there Are you able to get this point? Sir, what have you written in the red color, sir? Can you just read it out? I'm unable. Got it. Whatever, whatever you deal with the within the pie chart will indirectly convert it into degrees. Like, look, area percentage. Yes. Look, uh, or else I will. It is very difficult to read. Or just I will. I am directly putting this area percentage. Are you able to see this area percentage? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, don't miss that line. Hmm? No, no, no. This is enough. Area percentage is similar to this because I people might convert like I mean like I didn't put area in that. That's fine. okay. Listen, I mean I understand this area percentage is directly implication of degree percentage or degrees. Yes, Clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thirty percent is thirty degrees. No, 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 no. Degree percentage. That's why. That's why I wrote it. Look, if if it says thirty percent is, that means thirty percent of total three sixty. Yes, sir. That implies zero point. Ah, uh, so thirty by hundred into three sixty. How much it will be? One hundred. One zero eight degrees. Are you getting the point? Clear. Sir, got it. Yes. Clear. Yes. Yes, sir. We're going, we're going to the next next one. Bar chart. See, the whole thing is like representing. Look, there are two two ways to represent bar chart. Look, the look at this. This is very important. Why y axis must be what? What is the y axis of bar chart? Frequency. Frequency or relative. Y axis. Frequency. Any other thing? Relative frequency. Frequency or count? Clear? Agree? Yes. 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 Sir. Yes. Sir. Category. Category. Can Can you? I mean, I mean, can you draw a bar graph in other sense? Horizontal. Yes. Sir. Yes. We Horizontal. can change the view. Uh, no, no. I'm talking about x-axis and y-axis. You have to change the x-axis and y- x-axis or y-axis. We can change it. Yes, sir. But how how can you draw? That's horizontal. We can horizontal take category on y-axis. We can take count on x-axis. Sir, anything will work. One at a time, please. Anything will work. Relative to frequency. Agree? Relative to yeah. frequency and category. There is yes. other way. There is other way, which is like. I like this one. What is this? Let me cannot see screen. Bar graph count. Not able to see my screen. So yes, we are uh, seeing. Yes, that is visible. Hey, it's visible. It's visible. Okay, yeah. Visible, sir, but it's stuck to lab. What you are explaining is not. Uh, you are you are not writing us anything. No, I'm writing. I'm continuously writing. So we. Can. No sir, we it is top to last uh, total hundred percent combining all the categories here. Yeah. Everyone for everyone it is I, like that. No sir, it is on the bar. Right now, for me I, I can see. Screen is not stable. I can see you have written. Pen. Yeah, I'm moving. I'm moving the screen. Don't worry. Don't worry. Now it is stable. Yes. Yes sir. Yes, sir. Look, count or frequency. Yes sir. And what is the y-axis? Category. 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 Look. So, what is the difference between vertical and horizontal chart? Nothing. Nothing different. Nothing. It is like to to show like to fit your graphs in the PowerPoint presentation and some. I mean, like, like nothing. Nothing is like uh, just to understand. Like, like what what happens is that sometimes 
you will use this or that that is your wish completely your i mean like there is no practical importance for that okay look for a grade this oh i need to fall Hello? Yes. No. Yes. Okay. Tell me. In this two, I mean, like, I'm trying this. Is is this graph, this side graph, is correct? Tick the one I put. Uh, no. Tick mark. No, Why it is not correct? No. Yes. 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 Yes.
Okay, it's just descending, but what in lectures? They said sorting is the main thing. Okay, I will let you know by next class. Okay. Hello. Yes. Just wait, just wait. I'm I'm writing it out. Okay. Okay. And then, yes. We're moving on to the next one. Uh, hello. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, so actually, uh, I'm a little bit uh, confused. I when I read uh, about Pareto chart, there was a uh, one example uh, gave uh, about ordinal data. I think. Yeah. Okay. And uh, the teacher said, uh, in ordinal data, we uh, should maintain a uh, uh, like uh, order. Ordinal. Yeah, yeah. That, that's that's what I'm doing. I'm telling you. Look. We must look. The point is, note. Putting a note mark. What color will we use? Black. So then, pink. if categorical variable is ordinal, then bar chart must. Reserve the ordering. You are you are telling about this this point. Yeah. Yeah. What does that mean? Preserve the ordering means. Sir. Sir, the first rank, second rank means we can represent bar chart only. Yeah. What does that mean? Is that A B C D? Look. If you are counting counts, the I mean like rank wise. Ah, uh, yeah. If it is on the rank wise or look A B C D the grades A B C D are what is this? What are the types of variable? Category. 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 A is A is better than B. B is better than C. C is better than D. Yeah. Then what does that mean? Yeah. Then what? Ordinal. It's ordinal. It's an order. That means we have to preserve. Like, whenever you are putting this, you have to preserve ordinal. Like A, B, C, and D. If it says like this, I mean, like, are you getting the point? Even if you, you have to preserve this ordinal. Like. If someone says that B, look, if you convert it into Pareto chart, B, oh no no sorry, D. Uh, what is the second highest? B. B A, A and C. Yeah, C. But it doesn't mean that I mean like D is greater than B is greater than A is greater than C. All the the preserve I mean like. Order is preserved. A is greater than B is greater than C is greater than D, but based upon the frequency you divided, are you getting the point? Don't confuse. Hello. Sir, can you give a real life example oh, for this? If it yeah, is possible. This is the look, 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 look. What, look, what does you think? Look, what, what is the meant by ordering A, B, C, D? You for suppose they give two graphs like this. Listen this very carefully. A, look in. In rank wise, A is greater than B is greater than C is greater than D. Hello, hello. Yeah. Yes. Yes. When when you convert the data into Pareto chart, it says that B is greater than B is greater than A is greater than C. Hello. Yes, sir. Because the frequency of D is high. The parameter is based on frequencies. Yeah, that's what. So that 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 means the 
we have to preserve the ordering what is the ordering a b c d the order must be preserved by looking at the pareto chart you, you must not blindly believe that d is greater than b is greater than a is greater than c sir why Do not in the or huh? why not interval look we are discussing only this pareto chart i mean like categorical variables so how can you put interval here like interval scale here hello act Yes. So it means the graphs are right. Yeah, two graphs are right, but you have to. This is wrong. If D greater than B greater than A greater than C is wrong, because the frequency of D is more, but not the order. Order order of the D is not more. Are you getting the point? Yeah. Yes. The, the point. The major thing is that it just. I mean, Pareto chart only. I mean, like. It's for representation, you, right? Ah, uh, gives the importance of frequency, not the importance of the order of the data. Hello. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Okay, sir. Got it. Yeah, that's the main thing. Okay. But sir, if we have to present this data with respect to the Pareto chart, then sir, uh, how will we do this? No, you just yes. said you just clearly said that D is the grade and D has highest frequency. That's all. Hello. Yes, sir. Yeah. But sir, here yes. we are given that A is greater than B is greater than C is greater than D. No, greater in the sense in the ordinal case. Yes, sir. Order, so, in the order so, in the order. This is order. Like you can say the first, second, third, fourth. Yeah, this is order. So if we will present the in uh, this data so, in sir, Pareto uh, chart, so yeah. we will get this first figure or the second one we have drawn. D B S C or one. A B C. You, you will get the second one. That is for sure. But keep in so mind that. Uh, yeah, sir, yeah. in the Pareto chart, the yeah. data category which has the highest frequency will come on the top. And yeah, then yeah. After that, uh, irrespective the of the categories, category will variable. come one by one till the last one is the smallest category. Yeah, that yeah. means they'll be in order from largest to smallest. While in that ordinary bar chart, they can be in any order. It doesn't any matter. order, any order. Are you getting the point? Uh, so one cross mean... question in uh, in Pareto chart. Uh, can the attribute be anything apart from frequency? No, 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 no. Related frequency or frequency? Okay. Hello. Nothing more than that. we can't use like because it is just the extension of the bar chart. That's. Okay. Okay. But this okay. means when when is the frequency. frequency. So, sir, one more clarification required. When you say frequency, that would be whatever uh, count or whatever uh, we are counting or taking into account as per data for category A, B, C, D. Correct? Yeah, yeah that's all. That's numbers, all. Numbers. It can be. It can be percentage. It can be uh, no, count, no, no, no. How, how, be... Look, look. How, how can you take percentage? Sir, uh, related frequency. Related frequency. Yeah, for example, so hmm. this case is basically for grades, right? But then yeah. it can be anything. A, B, C, D can be any type of data which has a certain common value, a common uh, 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 feature. For example, percentage marks, or uh, it no, can be. No, no, no. A, B, C. Of... Look here. A, B, C, D are grades. Grades, right. but, grades. If, but if I change a definition of a from grades to uh, given tons of wheat, chart. in a peritorial chart, the higher turn of wheat will come on top and the lower turn of wheat will come at the bottom, correct? What is turn off? So when I say, so let's say A, B, C, D are not grades, but A is equal okay. to 10 tons okay, of okay. wheat, yeah, yeah, B yeah. is equal to 5 tons of uh, wheat, C is equal to 6 tons of wheat, okay, you, uh, can, you, can, you can define ah, yeah. of wheat and D is equal ah. to 1 ton of wheat. So in that yeah. case, for example, then it will be in the uh, the highest will come on top and the lower. So free. when you yeah, say yeah, frequency, frequency is whatever I data you, we are counting. Look, I will give you other example. Uh, one example. So, this is like a look farming example. Now you have three pesticides. Hello. Yeah. Yes, sir. Three pesticides. Okay. Yes. They are used in the wheat crop. Okay. Now, what are you doing is that, okay, how much percentage of you are calculating the, I mean, like, how effect, I mean, like, three uh, wheat crop just based upon. Say, let's say how, how many, many kilograms how of many farmers each pesticide are, buying, are using the crop. Like, how many farmers okay. are okay. buying the 
sir three Which pesticides I mean, or types of pesticides yeah three types of pesticides how uh, you are you are checking how uh, how farmers are buying this pesticide i mean pesticides how farmers are buying these pesticides look pesticide like let me suppose like some x some y and some z pesticide look the majority portion is with y y has major share major share in the pesticide business in the pesticide market and why because most of the farmers are buying since most of the farmers are buying for suppose i am tell you the other example uh, you want to know loan loan structure for suppose there is a bank uh, sbi bank look sbi ba bank has i mean like many branches many branches all over india yes all over india now you want to like uh see um, loan i'm like how many persons are persons are taking loan based upon uh, taking loan how many persons are to take uh, taking loan in south west east north regions four category of sba look there, there are like four parts like you can i uh, like look listen this very carefully if someone draw like this okay north has this much part i mean north of sba north sba or something north sba not a good word like north region north region of sba north region and south region and east is very less and west is somewhat good east region west region look it look for suppose this is number of persons who are taking loan number of persons taking loan hello hello yes sir yes sir yes look here here the count is not that much important here the share is important market share is important like mm. if you represent the same data in this chart north south east west hello are you getting the point yes there are many examples you can use but you have to make sure that the data is like uh, you have to i mean like take care of the data because categorical data look you can you have to know category whether it falls under categorical or not look north region it is categorical like okay you are dividing that that is the main important thing and then we will move into the final part like not i mean like it is like somewhat final part of the lecture like sir can we say that uh, the parameter chart depends only on the frequency irrespective of the category of the variable yeah that's what irrespective of the category doesn't matter it only depends upon the frequency okay okay sir look so into the best practice best practices and misleading graphs so yeah sir you told to remember about uh, when to use uh, yeah that's what yeah yeah chart. good look pie chart 
best then we try to compare parts of whole group you can say different parts sure and coming to the bar chart best then comparing things of different group hello yes sir yeah. hello yes clear look here yes. sba sba is the same group we have we are comparing the sba but based upon the different regions what does that mean comparing parts of the whole group whole group is sba hello yeah whole group is yes. sba we are yes. comparing different parts south west east north so this mm. would be better we can represent here this also but this seems little bit better okay yes sir hello? Okay, I'm so coming. Yeah. To, I'm coming to this grade grades. In the example of grades, this chart is better. Which bar chart? Hello. Bar bar yeah. chart. Sir. Yeah. Because you are comparing different groups. If A A is one group, B is one group, C is one group. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Are you yes. getting the point? Yes. Because it is like a perspective. Okay, how to compare? Like the, I mean the the rule is this. Remember this very carefully. Okay. There is no general rule regarding this, but I mean like for I mean like for summarizing or for for better understanding, you can take like this. Pie chart is best for comparing the parts of a whole group. Hello, the art dot ka baro da. Kone ka chika na. Yeah, so I, I, I will cover theory and some examples. Okay. If there are, I mean, there is some uh, some time left. I will go through doubts. Okay. Not. Sir, will you get the PDF? Hello. I didn't get you. Yes, you will get the PDF. Okay. Then coming to the other thing, sir. Please this. tell the city ma'am to use this uh, app. and coming to the other just there is other thing when you are representing in a bar graph there are like for suppose there are so many things so many categories which are very small which are very insignificant portions very small portions like 10 20 look what happens is that for suppose you are discussing about uh, for suppose grades grades a b D, e, F, and U, W. Look, all these grades from C, ah, uh, from E, F, W. These are like not important. So what you can do is that you can draw this graph. You can club it. You can club and you can only enter one, two, three, four, five, six. Like only six things. One. A and B and C and D E and all the E F G. These are this can be known as others. You can write others. This is known as clubbing. 
Okay, sir. Only hold on. You added e, u, and w. Huh? You kept it as other. This is known as clubbing. Okay. Understood. Okay. And coming to the next, next part. So, so basically, A, B, C, D only come. It's club graphing. It should be come the A, B, C, D only. Look, look. These are like insignificant portions. Okay. Significant. That means mm -hmm. there are very less number of. Even though mm -hmm. this data, it says that this data is not that much important. Like, okay, all the others contribute only this much. Look, F doesn't contribute whole data. More, I mean, like for suppose F is only like six, and all the other is twenty. Minimum is twenty. That means F is like not negligible. And you can say that all the persons who got F, U, and W is like twenty persons, not that much important. You can say like this, okay? Yes. Sir, so if it was in of the years, it mean important, sir. No? It would be important. No, no. It was. Look, look. What happens based upon on whom you are concentrating? Look, generally you concentrating on you any data. I mean, like you will concentrate morely on the. More data. I mean, like more data where the data lies, uh, where the amount of data is high. If the whole data is like in between A and E, all the E, F, U, and W will contribute only ten percent of the data. Like if at all six, 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 eighteen, and the whole all the combination is like uh, one fifty. Whole E, U, and W only contribute eighteen by one fifty. We will only take fifteen. It is very easy. Like only ten percent data. Are you getting the point? Okay, sir. Uh, but sir, whole data was like uh, this, sir. It was low from starting to end. Uh, means whole data was in uh, small ratio, sir. A uh, whole data is in small. The... Look, whole. If the whole data is in the small ratio, then you have to analyze all the data. Like, okay. All right. Uh, the, that's the thing. Like, you can't, you can't omit or you can't make generalizations. Like whole the data is like transforming in this. Look, whole the half of the more than half of the class or more than ninety percent of the class in A, B, C, D and E groups. No one is in the F, U, W. So you can skip like okay, let leave about the F, U and W. We will concentrate on this and we will see what I mean. What can we make? Uh, what can we make better to convert E into D or to improve student D into C? Are you getting the point? Okay, sir. Yes. Can we do sir, sir, just just one doubt in this uh, graph. If we want to plot the Pareto of this graph, then what will the position of this others bar? Will it go in between uh, B and C, or will it remain at the end of the? Yeah, chart? it will go in B and C. Don't worry. In between B and C. Okay. Don't worry. Oh, okay. Yes. So can't we do clubbing in frequency table? Huh? Hello. Yes, sir. I didn't hear you. Can't we do clubbing in frequency table? Frequency, I mean, like it is. I mean, like it is. You can do in the frequency table, but. So there was a question assignment. That's why I'm asking. The assignment. Okay, I should not answer those questions. Okay, but. It's an activity question, actually. Activity question. Actually, you can do, but it doesn't make sense. Any sense, like okay, clubbing, but. It is. It makes sense only because in in graph because the main you are clubbing all the insignificant part. That's why it makes sense in graphs. Hello. Okay. And then coming to the next thing, you all know area principle. Yes. Area principle. In bar chart, I I already told. I mean, I already said that. I mean, like percentage of area is equal to percentage of degree. And then, for every bar, we must have the same width. The width of the bar must be same. Width of the Bar in bar chart must be same, and in area principle, the sum of areas 
sum of area. Is equal to it. It must be equal to the total area. Hundred. No, no. I took area. If it is percentage, it is hundred. Okay. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. Sir, can you please one second explain this area principle, sir? Due to network issue, I could not understand, sir. Look, I am writing area principle again. Look, this is the definition. Area occupied by a part of the graph should correspond. to the amount of data and then sum of the individual area must be equal to the total area sum of individual area of all categories Okay, clear. Sir, hello. Yeah. This first point: yeah. percent of area is equal to percent of degree. Is it about the pie chart? Pie chart, yeah, pie chart. Pie. Okay, okay. Sir. I already wrote it at that point. That's why I'm arranging. Okay. Yeah. And coming to the uh, truncated graphs. Look, the worst thing about this, like these graphs, you like sometimes look for suppose the frequency starting at fifty, hundred, one fifty, and you are drawing like this. It is like you should not consider this. It is wrong because it is wrong. I mean, it is not good practice, or it is wrong because look, what do you think that these two like? It should be started like, from the zero level, sir. Yeah, it should be started. I am telling why it is not not correct way. because you should you you think that these two are like okay, you can compare these two. It is like seventy five, but it is just. Sixty or I mean sixty. There is a significant difference. It it generally doesn't show the actual notion of the data. Hello. Hello. Yeah. It's truncated graph. So the actual data. That's your watch. You should do is that when you want to I mean save some space. So I mean like if your data is like this. Okay. One is zero ten. Only one uh, one category has still ten, and all the categories are fifty above fifty. What you can do, I mean, like what you can do is that you can simply put a break. Access break, breaking, or trunking. Is that you just say that there is a break in the y-axis, saying that it is zero. Oh, sorry. Is zero, but from here it is fifty. Are you getting the one? Till here it is ten. After that, every time it will go like this. Hello. Yes. Sir. Are you getting the one? We have to indicate this is the correct way of representing data. So does it fifty indicate that after that all intervals are in fifty? Uh, no, uh, all intervals in the fifty. Ah, uh, you can take like this fifty, hundred, two hundred. This is correct, sir. Once. Sir, uh -huh. is this correct, sir? So what, is the, what is the difference in this and what sir, are we are not taking? Hello. Where there is a gap, sir? Can you please repeat? You you are telling that there is a break in the x axis. I mean y axis. Yes, sir. Because so it is not correct only, no, sir. No, no. You you said clearly that it is. I mean, like some some books say it is a correct way because you are telling the What 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 are you saying here? Okay, there is the some gap between. Yeah, there is a some gap between this. Or you can clearly say that 
okay my graph starts from 50 from this point okay, are you getting right. the point this okay, is like so in okay. some test books the clearly i mean like they said that okay this you have to give the i mean truncation here or we have to give the breaking breaking that, that's all okay okay right and there is a one error which is you know a round of error if there is breaking in the y axis sir what if the there is the error uh, that the capture hello how we calculated the graph i didn't get you the bar uh, bar graph this uh, second one is uh, uh, crossing the at 50 level now so uh, if, if it was in this gap gap area so how we can no 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 i don't want be in the... gap area you should not set a gap area like that are you getting the point okay, i sir. look i gave you an example only one data is below at 10 level all the data is above 50 level or mm, about okay, about 200 level for suppose there is a lot of difference between 10 and 200 right. so what we will do is that we will put a break saying that it okay. is 200 clear hello sir can you give the example yes, like sir, yes, sir. Uh, the example is this look, not clear look, i'm using the same same thing look for suppose we have we have like a graph like this only one i mean one category only yes or only one type of specials has very low number like only 10 only 10 cells okay but all other specials are like about 200 generally 200 is here look this much and you have to go till 200 every time about 200 that means so what we will do is that to to maintain i mean to decrease the size of graph what you can do is that you can simply put a break saying that 10 and then the next thing is 200 and 250 and 300 350 yeah, so are you getting the point to reduce the size yeah in reduce yeah, yeah. okay so Yeah. and round of error is that whenever whenever you see the relative frequency i am going to the look relative frequency sir hello yeah i am on the screen don't worry no sir sir i was saying that what is the meaning of manipulated y axis in the bar graph yeah this is a mani- I mean manipulated i mean like this this is known as manipulated break break i mean like bra- uh, i mean like there is a if there is a break or if you manipulate Uh, to say you added something this is manipulated one so the manipulated graph is the correct graph or wrong sir no it is it is wrong like manipulated is wrong but it, if it contains zero if they clearly mention this even this yeah you know, break break Hi. point then it is correct you can say okay, it is sir. correct okay this is break point start, then... Then why start from zero? Basically, uh, if we are giving the correct scale on the graph, it is a truncated uh-huh. or a break graph. But if we are not mentioning the correct scale, then it is a manipulated graph. Correct? No zero. If you are not mentioning the zero. Yeah. So basically, when we say correct scale, the scale should be from zero to whatever level we are taking yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. The only thing is we are dividing the scale into a smaller level and a higher yeah, level above the scale. Yeah. And a we have to level below the break. So if yeah, the entire right. scale from zero to the maximum amount is given, then it is a turn truncated uh, graph. But if yeah. the scale is not properly given, then it is a manipulated graph. Yeah. That's the idea. If scale is not given and if, if they are missing zero, if they st- started from fifty or hundred, then it is uh, known as this manipulated graph. Okay. So Uncom- the use of this graph is uh, to just to uh, minimize, minimize size, no? minimize the- size. Yeah, that's all. Minimize size and uh, yeah. to correctly represent the. I mean, like if there is a large disparity between two categories. and then coming to the round of error this is nothing but uh, uh, one small doubt sir and gap up uh, yeah. um, uh, gap, we can use gap up in one time only na no, sir we cannot use second time sir, sir. Mean, i mean i mean no oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, if there What? is gap to gap up in the 50 area and the next 250 area we cannot again gap up na no, sir you can't use uh, only once we can use na no, sir yeah only once okay What is this tabular column, sir? You draw in uh, red yeah. color. Yes, yes, sir. I'm, I'm. 
If it is an even number, we should always we should have to increase the sir and write. Zero point zero five. Now add all this. Hello. It's and uh, one not one. Sir. Yeah. 1.01 it will come around 1.01 look it exceeded 1 sum of relative yes, frequency sir, must one. be 1 sum of relative frequency must be 1 but here 1.01 so whenever you are sir. taking rounding off i mean rounding off this relative frequency you must be careful like really careful okay You have to check whether it is equal to one or it is exceeding one point zero. Okay. Okay, sir. So is it equal to one, sir? Huh? Is the one point zero one is equal to one, sir? No, it depends. I mean, like, it is not equal to one, but you have to take care. Like, you have to take only two significant digits, like zero point three three. Okay. Here, you have to consider only zero point three three, not zero point three four. Similarly, like that. Okay. You have to do something like this. We are not going to discuss here. But are you getting the point? That. There is some yes. error, something known as round of error. So, and, what if in place of uh, like uh, you have written the number zero point three three eight, if there was five in place of eight? A uh, five, you can simply take zero point three three. There are rules for significant. I mean, there are rules for this now. I mean, okay, like rounding off. Now oh, coming to the measure of. Dispersion for categorical variables. Look, what is the measure of this? Okay, sorry, 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 not dispersion. Sorry, central. I mean, measure of central tendency. More and little. Measure of central tendency for categorical variables. There are like you know what what is meant by central tendency? Mean, mean median. It's like uh, median, sir. Median. More and median. Where, where the center of the data lie? Like there are like many measures. Mean, median, more. But in the case of categorical, we won't take mean. Mode. We won't consider mean. We only have median and mode. Even for median, the categorical variable must be ordinal. Ordinal. Only for ordinal. Ordinal. Only for ordinal. Only for ordinal. Okay. What is mode? Sir, mean is not uh, there for category. It's category. Uh, number of repeated, frequency. most repeated words. Yes. Most number of occurrences. Of Mostly frequent. Mostly repeated. Number of. Mostly repeated number is called a mode. Sir, mean is not there for category. Most frequency. Repeated number. Ah, uh, mean mean what is there for category? Sir, the mostly repeated one. Highest frequency. 
category with category with highest frequency now answer my question how many i mean like can there be two three or ten modes yes yes sir yes sir yes sir yes sir yes if data has two modes what does that mean what is the data called as bimodal 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 and then coming to the median multimodal is also only defined for ordinal data Remember very carefully. Can anyone define median? Center value. Middle, middle observation of sorted value. Sorted middle values. observation sorted. of the data. Sorted data. Make it clear. Sorted data. Okay. Sorted is a very important term. Because you have to prefer. Suppose, uh, let us take the example of grades only. Grades, A, A, B, C, A, D, E, A, B, A, C, D. How many? How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, five. ten, eleven, twelve. There are like twelve. Two B. Twelve data. Twelve data points. Mm -hmm. arranging first step step 1 arranging or sort, sort sort them sort the data ascending or descending it doesn't make for them but sort the data ye 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 5a 5a 2b 2c 2d and 1e C two D and one E. Median is B. B would be the six and six and seven would be the one two three four five one two three four five. Look, just divide like you want central part. Look, for suppose not here by luck we got two Bs. Now for suppose we got B and C at this place. What will be the median? B and C both. B is median. Either yeah. B or either C. Uh, B is median. Both B and C are median. Agree? Yes, sir. Yes. What if final is missing? What if? D D. What is the median of this data? A B. A B. A B. A B. A B. A B. A or B. A or B. A B. A B. A and B. And okay, we will put E. What is the data? What is the median? उंटेड But for suppose there are like two hundred or two hundred data points. If someone asks you, if someone asks you, at which two hundred sorted data points, 
at which point does the median lie are you understanding the question yes sir understand Yes, sir. So, sir, it would be an. If I'm not asking what is the median on which point. Even. Look, it is even number. By two and n. Two hundred is even. Hundred and hundred one. Look. Two n plus two by two. Look, it is if it is even. N by, by two, two. Comma. N, n by two plus one. N plus one. Observation. Yes. If it is odd. So n by two plus n by two plus one the observation. Observation. Did you understand? That means this is here hundred by two. Sorry, two hundred by two. Hundred observation, comma one zero. Observation. Okay, clear. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, there are like. So this is a formula. Right? This course. is a formula. There is no logic behind it. Ah, this is the formula. Okay. Ah, hey, make note. Make note. This is not like what is the value of median. It is the observation where you can find the median. Note. note. Or if it's a mixture of odd and even, we can find easily. How do we can find? Note, it is odd the median. It is the observation at which we can find the. median i will explain this don't worry look for suppose take this example there are like how many points 12 points here 12 points and yes. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12, 12 look apply wall and n equal to 12 here n equal to 12 12 by 2 that equal to 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 sixth term and 12 by 2 plus 1 that equal to seventh term Look, you found sixth and seventh, sixth term and seventh term. So, what is the median? B is median. Are you getting the point? And the same here. There are like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven terms, eleven points. So then, both B and C so are not median. Eleven. Ah, B and C are median here in this case. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay. Sir. And I am discussing here. So, n plus one by two, eleven plus one by two. That equal to six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sixth term or sixth observation. Okay, sir. This B. B is B. Clear? This is very important. So finally, I want to discuss one, one, one question which everyone asked me at the starting of the lecture. Listen that very carefully. Ah, uh, look, look. Frequency, relative frequency question. Someone asked me relative frequency question. Hello. Yes, sir. Look. Ah, uh, for suppose there is a player and number of man of the match. I think this is the practice assignment question. I think. Yes, sir. Two summary is finished. Ah, uh? week two Hello? summary finished. Week two summary. Hello, so I am asking week to summary is finished or not? Yeah, week to summary is finished. That's all. Okay, that's all, no? Okay. Sir, can you ask a question then from activity? Yes, sir. Look, I am discussing this question because many people ask me this question at the starting. I think this question where relative frequency on this is missing. Hello. Yes, sir. 
So I want to I want to discuss this question. So the majority of the things will be covered with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Please sir. go ahead. Unrelated question. Unrelated question. Look, player ten, three, four, seven, two, nine. One, eleven, six, five, eight, seventy-six, fifty-eight, fifty-seven. Tell me when I am doing some mistake, okay? Forty-two, forty-one, 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 twenty-four. Sir, put x on the place of nine and y on the place of seven. Zero point one five two. Zero point one one four. Look, uh, is there some some other data given in this question? Look, in the question they gave total number of matches is chosen. Total matches is chosen. Agree? Hello. So total man of the matches will be chosen. Hello. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, yes, sir. yes, I'm getting the point. <laughs> Look, here the first question is that how many man of the match is awarded to player four? Look, player four. You got relative frequency. We can easily find one thousand into zero point one one four. Yeah, thousand into zero point one one four. How many? One one four. One one four. One one four. Yeah. One one. Let's move on to the second question. And. Now, how many player two? How many player two? Sir, I player can't understand. Two. Sir, how the thousand into zero point one one four is multiplied? Why, sir? Look, total number of matches they give thousand thousand. Look, they have given the total number of matches is thousand. Now, but this way, okay. I think the answer is coming wrong. Wrong. Yes, sir. No. Sir, because like if you do it with the the first one like seventy six and zero point one five two, then we have total uh, number of awards is five hundred. Okay. Yes. Sir. There is. Yes. Sir. Okay. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Yes. This is not the total match. Sorry, sorry. Who played more than hundred, sir? Okay. I'll come to you. Okay, sorry, it's the wrong thing. Besides, now we'll have some headache. Now, look, what does we have? Zero point one one four. Zero point one one four. Look, we don't have the total. Hello. Now yes. we don't have yes. the total. Now look. What is the relative frequency? RF equal to category frequency. Frequency of category by the total frequency. Total frequency. Total frequency. Look for suppose we RF of player ten. RF of player for player ten. For player ten. Mama. Hello. Hello? Yes. Yeah. For player ten, it is RF is zero point one five two. Zero point one five two is equal to category frequency is seventy six. Sir, where is ten? Hello? 
Hello. Hello. Yes. Category frequency is seventy six. Divide by total frequency. Now total frequency equal to seventy six divided by zero point one five two. Agree? Yes. Two thousand. Yes, sir. Five hundred. 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 So total is five hundred. Now, what does we need? We have relative frequency. Now for player, four. What is the relative frequency? Zero point one one four. Zero point one one. Zero point one one four equal to. Let let us be frequency of four. Frequency of player four. Divided by how much is the total? Five hundred. Are you sure this is five hundred? I didn't calculate. Yes, sir. It's five hundred. Okay. How much is this? Seventy-two. Fifty-seven. 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 Ah, fifty-seven. Now frequency of player four is fifty-seven. 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 And now coming coming to the man of the matches won by player two. M O M of player two. Now we will fill this. We will add all of them. Then five hundred minus minus five hundred. Look, yes. yeah, we have. We'll do that. Do that and tell me. Nineteen five hundred minus nine is the answer. Five hundred minus nineteen. Yeah, it is nineteen. Five hundred minus seventy six minus fifty eight minus fifty seven minus fifty seven minus forty three minus forty two minus forty one. Minus forty one minus forty one minus twenty five. That is equal to how much? Nineteen. Okay. What is the third question? Yes, sir. Okay, this is the. Okay, I think clear till now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Clear. Now you can find all the relative frequencies. Yes. Yes, sir. Fifty-eight by five hundred. Some. Uh, Hello. By multiplying five hundred. Yes. But in some questions, relative frequency and uh, frequency are both not given, and they ask for median to find. Yeah, you can do that. What is the median? If the data lies in top and bottom, what does that mean? Hello. Yes. Just, yes, sir. Just, just think about that. You can find that. Just arrange the data and see where the. Mm, and we will discuss one more example. All the example. I think this week two as a this is easy. Uh, yes, yeah. sir. It's very easy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I have some doubt in assignment or uh, non-graded assignment activity question. Okay. Uh, uh, one from activity two point uh one uh question number seven. Stop, stop. I can leave if I have any uh, if I have no doubts. Yeah, you can leave. You can leave. Thank I'll, you. Anyway, I will close in ten minutes. What is the question? Uh, act from activity two point three question number seven. Two point three. Uh, sorry, two point one. Two point one. Number seven. A cab driver. Yeah. Yeah. You can find it easily. Hello. Ah. Uh, yeah. The relative frequency of the of rating seven is zero point zero point two five. What does yeah. relative frequency say? 
sir please off this screen i didn't get you uh i'm not getting sir stop 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 just <laughs> what is the question number is sir uh seven uh if the relative uh or cab driver so as you said earlier look sir 2.1 question seven yeah seven nine eight x six nine seven five nine ten seven eight nine eight 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 seven seven six six nine okay look look for us let us draw frequency table because i want to Cover all. I want to use all this. You can without without drawing. You can do, but I want to use all the all the things that I have taught. That's why I want to draw because the table. First is seven. How many sounds are there? Four times. One, so. Seven, eight. Four times. Five to start. Anna, stop. Five to start. Yeah. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, coming to this first. I mean, like we will take seven, and then nine, and then eight. Then x we will leave this x now, and then six, and then nine, and then seven, and then five, and then nine, and then yeah. ten, seven, eight, nine, eight. Eight, seven, ten, double six, nine. Agree? Yeah. So frequency. One, three, four, four, five, two. Now uh, look, look. Now what is the total frequency? You know the total frequency is. Uh, sum of three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Yeah. But how much it is coming? Eight, nine, ten, fifteen, nineteen. Nineteen. Here it is nineteen. It is coming as nineteen because 19. we missed it. We missed one x. Hello, we missed one x. Yeah. But actually, it is twenty. Agree? Uh. Your voice is yeah. Actually, it is twenty. Hello. Yeah. Yes. Sir. Yes. Sir. It is. Actually, it is twenty, but we are only getting nineteen because we we didn't take x value. X. Yeah. Look, sir. Now, if what is two x, then uh, then uh, it will be twenty one, no? Uh, yeah, but yeah. Uh, we will just just wait. I will clear this now. Now they clearly gave that seven has zero point two five relative frequency of seven. Total frequency of seven equal to zero point two five. That means number of sevens divided by total number of total twenty. Total frequency. Okay. Total okay. frequency okay. equal to zero point two five. Total number of is like uh, listen this carefully. It. We don't know total number of sevens. Number of sevens because we x can be seven or eight or nine or ten. Yeah, we can't tell. Right, sir. Now, so total number of seven divided by twenty equal to zero point two five. Number of seven equal to twenty to zero point seven. That is five. But here yeah, there five. is only four. That means x must be five. X must be seven. Are you getting the point? X equal okay. to seven yeah. because yes, number sir. of sevens must be five. Only four are there. Okay. okay so for for this type of question, we have to uh, try every option. Not every option. I look, look. look Why without drawing? Seven? Look, look. Tell yeah. me this. Without drawing this this table, I can answer here itself. Uh, no. Why can't no? Look, 
RF is RF equal to seven. Relative frequency of seven equal to zero point two five. Look, number of sevens is like five. Now just count seven. One, two, three, four. There are only four sevens. Okay. So X must be seven. I only drew uh, draw this table because I have taught you the frequency distribution. That's why I I drew this table. Okay. Okay. Clear? Okay. Why can't yeah. be six? Huh? I didn't get you. Sir, why X can't sir, be? X can't be. Sir, uh, hello. Sir, in the question, the relative frequency of seven is already given, correct? As yeah. One two five. And we know that the total number of uh, the total frequency is twenty, correct? Yeah. Yeah, twenty. Yeah. Right. So basically, uh, if we are uh, so basically, if we take a uh, relative frequency point two five and multiply it by the total frequency twenty, we get the result five. Correct. Yeah, five. Yeah. And because we only have uh, we can four sevens, see, four sevens four in the data. Four sevens and an X. Then X yeah. has to be five. Yeah. Uh, X seven, has seven. to be seven. Seven. That yeah. is the first seven. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's all. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. I got it. Uh, sir, you can... my second question uh, is. Sir, I didn't I... get it. Sir, why X is seven? Sir, can you please tell? Look, look. Number of sevens is five. Number agree. Number of sevens are five. One two Hello? three. No, there is four. No, no. Relative frequency. They have given relative frequency equal to zero point two five. Okay, okay, okay. Sir, so basically in the question, the relative so, frequency uh, of one given if number they... equals one. Correct. Uh, yeah. And they have told that seven has the so relative take, frequency of one. Not provided. Hello. Yes, sir. Sir, if they cannot, if they are not provided the relative frequency, then we cannot find that, sir. Ah, oh, you cannot find. You cannot find. X can take any value. Okay. Okay. I think this. Well, let us end the section here. Like, sir, 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 sir we are finding the error in which. Sir, if the relative value, uh, frequency of seven is uh, is not zero point five, then then how how can we find that the uh, value? You can't of say. Look, look. For suppose relative frequency of four by twenty. How much is four by twenty? Zero point two. Is zero point two five. Four by twenty. Yeah, it's not two zero point two five. Zero point. Look, for it's suppose they didn't give, they didn't give that zero point two five. They gave zero point two. That means then X must be seven. other than seven. Hello. Yes. Yes. X must be other than seven. Other than seven. If relative frequency of seven. Sorry, relative frequency of seven equal to zero point two. Are you getting the point? Then the x will be six. Hello. I think you you can't tell. It can be six, ten, yeah. or hundred, even thousand. It if, must be other the, than seven. If it the relative, seven. relative frequency of six uh, uh, has given zero point two, then the value of x will be six. Yeah, that's all. Four by twenty. Yeah. So no, Sir, did you get uh, the point? I have a small doubt. Yeah. Uh, if uh, suppose there are so many numbers, so they are gave the relative frequencies. Ah, uh, how to yeah. find quickly which number is in error form? Because we should have to go uh, one by one, man, sir, to divide. No, that that's why I'm telling you, na. Look, you just take care of seven. I drew this. I mean, like I drew this uh, frequency table because I have taught you the frequency table now. That's why I drew this. Or else, just directly yes, count sir. number of sevens. Okay. Okay, sir. Uh, so one more last question. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, from activity two point three. One three. Uh, question number. Question number one. Just wait. It is loading. Uh, what? Hey, it is loading. It is loading. Just, just wait. Okay. Okay. Sir, Sorry. Uh, my, sir, my doubt. Sir, I also have mine. Activity three point two. Question number six. Oh, which of the following is? Uh, these are like theoretical questions. Yeah, and I'm getting confused in question number one and two. Like, sir, I, I I'm all... asking, sir. Look, sir, it is I very doubt, like. Sir. Yeah, yeah. If they give the relative frequency of uh, five or ten, and there was a mistake in some in this uh, frequency table, sir, how to find quickly? I'm asking that way, sir. If they give more more number of uh, relative frequency. And there is an error in some frequency. Okay. 
uh, so how to find uh, quickly which one is error actually you like by looking you have to do you have to practice like you can't tell quickly you have to practice it right. like, but those questions won't be asked in the exam only the okay, questions sir. you Then can do no like Okay. Then, can, la, la. Can same uh, for any data or any yeah it can, more, more can me, it can be same it can be same more more medium it can be same no 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 it can be same more and mean can be same like more there is no medium, medium. i didn't get you hello yeah someone is speaking like more than about more than medium Uh, yes, mode, can mode and median be same? For yeah, it can be same. It can be same. I think you misunderstood some something Mama has said, but they can be same. Okay. okay let us end the session. I mean, if you have any so doubts, just can... one cross question. I'm sorry. Uh, this is maybe theoretical, but uh, can relative frequency also have round of errors? Uh, yeah, relative frequency have the round of errors, like. Okay. Look, you have to select. I mean, like you have to take care of that. Okay. So, uh, I mean, in a question, can we assume that you know, uh, in a question, just to like you know deviate us from the actual answer, the relative frequency can be can have a round of error. Or usually, like you know, we should just go by the question and believe that this is the correct relative frequency frequency that we are working with. I didn't get your question. So, for example, I think just someone else asked this question before. Can uh, you know uh, in in a in a given question, if we are given a relative frequency, can we assume that the relative frequency is also not accurate? Like you know, can it have some round of error? Uh, yeah, you can you can like you can do, but it is not like if if it has have... round of error, it it will probably be mentioned, right? Yeah, it will be mentioned, and actually, you have to select significant digit like zero. You have to take zero point eight, eight four, or eight three, or based upon that, you have to select only two digits or three digits. Are you getting the point? You have to take care about that. Sorry, yeah, yeah, but that is if I need sure. to find the round of error. What if, like you know, I already am working with a relative frequency and it has a round of error, and I'm like you know maybe I I I want to find the the value of x like you know in the previous question. So in that okay, case, okay. there is a in that, okay. look. Look in that case, what you will do is that look, do the whole thing in the fractions. Hello. Okay. Yeah. Do the whole thing in fractions and finally convert into the uh, this uh, decimal Decimal. points. Yeah. For the for in that case, we will give you a range like zero point one one six to zero point one one nine. We will give you the range. Don't worry. Okay. Sir, uh, so, okay. Uh, regarding uh, this question, uh, uh, there is a one question in activity. Wait, your voice is not clear. So, so your voice is not. So, clear. can you do Hello. the activity question of two point one? Yes, sir, I will. Just we have done now, na. Two point one. Just we have done now. I mean, like, if there are some more questions, you can ask in the TA session or next session, like. Sir, I had a doubt. Yeah. Sir, are you saying what are the different types of manipulated y-axis? Look, manipulated y-axis is like I have discussed about that. There is a break in the y-axis. Hello. Yeah. Okay, sir. There is a break in the y-axis to let you know that okay, we have we haven't we haven't ta- uh, taken the same like uh, same scale from top to bottom like. Hello. You are not getting the point. Yes, sir. Look, what happened? Uh, just stop this screen share. Just, just, just wait for one minute. So I have to. Are you able to see my screen? Yes, sir. Are you able sir. to see my screen? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm going to that session. Where is this place? Look here, you can see the break. Yes, sir. Here you can see the break. This is like manipulation of the y-axis. Nothing more than that. Okay. Sir, sir, if a wedge is drawn on the y-axis, then it is not a misleading graph, but it is a manipulated y-axis. 
Yeah, manipulated by IC. That's what I'm telling now. Do not mislead him. Who said it is mislead? Okay. It's like man, you you clearly said that I broke I broke the y-axis at this point. So it is not a like it is not a mistake. It is okay. Okay, sir. Understood, sir. Oh, okay, sir. Uh, we'll close sir, the there is one question in there. Yes, I said last one doubt, sir. Okay, okay. Uh, there is a question in 2.2 activity, sir. Uh, they uh, they not give the total uh, uh, total uh, frequency, total number, total calculation, sir. And at the end, and Which they question? give the total 2. calculation 2? in the uh, yes, sir, 2.1. Point one. Uh, sir, activity was uh, 2.1, sir. Uh, which question? Question number. Uh, question number one, sir. Question number one, I all are not. Uh, okay, I didn't discuss this. Okay. So you are not sharing your screens. Okay, uh, no, no, no. You can't. I mean, like this is. I am looking in the question in the other other laptop. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Uh, if if they if they not give the option uh, total number of the uh, total number in the this question, sir, we cannot find the answer for the option. Na? If they are not provided, how many deaths are there in the two thousand nineteen, sir? In the option. The winners of the International Cricket Council one day match will go for as follows: West Indies, West Indies, India, Australia. That is the That's question. Answer, sir. Two point one. Ah, two point no, one. First, first. Ah, uh, two point one, sir. They are providing 2. like total number is two ten is win. Which one? It's a uh, death, sir. Uh, hospital death. Death, sir. Cancer, cancer, heart disease. Hello. Hey, uh, yes, sir. Hi, sir. That's sir. Same. Yeah, you can you can easily do. I have already discussed this type of model. Right, sir. Right, sir. If they have not given the total uh de deaths, like they gave in eight hundred thousand two hundred, we should have to take that and divide it to uh which uh, relative which uh, they give the relative frequency and which matches that total score. We have to take that, no, sir. I'm doing that sum. Just this is the last one. Okay. Listen carefully. Uh, look, how many deaths happened in the city hospital in 2019? Look, you don't know anything. Yes, just, just concentrate on one, like one which has relative frequency and number of deaths. I'm taking respiratory disease. Relative frequency is 0.25, and the frequency is 250 by total. Equal to total divided by Two fifty divided by zero point two five. Agree? Yes, Hello. Sir. So what is that? Yes, sir. Two hundred divided by one two five. Ten thousand. Okay. Right. Sir. Okay. You can find okay. the t values in the latest. Okay. Clear. Okay. Right, sir. Let us end the session uh, here. The, It's already yeah. high time. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. You you are asking okay. something. Continue. Uh, me. No, sir. Yeah. Uh, I was just asking if the option number was three was also not given. You, as you told, we can uh, find the total number of deaths by like and so. Right. Uh, means I found the total number of deaths by uh, dividing the eight hundred by two uh, fifty and thousand. Yeah, you can do. You can take only. anything. Eight hundred by two fifty. How how uh, much? Means that? I. Found, No sir, I uh, did with eight hundred and thousand, two thousand. I found and I found the thousand is the right answer. I gone like that, sir. Okay. Even if you take others, three hundred divided by zero point three, it will be still thousand. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Have a great day. Okay. Thank you, sir. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay. Bye. Bye. Thank you.
दस रियाल में हेलो हेलो सर क्लासेस ओवर Thank you.